what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of server or connection or network issue problem error or whatever you have currently with revising so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that, that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys it would support my work in youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be to take your keyboard and you're going to click the windows and the r key at the same time so you're going to click that once you clicked it you should be able to see this little tab popping up what I want you to do is simply type in CMD and hit enter. Once you hit enter, this tab will pop up. And I want you to type in what I'm going to type in. So simply copy it. IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, as you can see, you should be able to enter this task. And then we get to the very bottom left corner of your screen again, clicking on the window symbol settings and navigating to network and internet. We want you to go down to Network Troubleshooter, where you're going to use your Windows in order to find every kind of issue you could currently have. If nothing pops up, click into Network Engineering Center. Navigate to the top left corner and click into the second link where it says Change Adapter Settings. You're going to stick to the top left corner. You're going to right click the first one, either it says Internet or Ethernet. You're going to right click and click into Disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to return back to your network and sharing center by just simply ending this task. Next step is going to be to click into the blueprint text right here. So either internet or ethernet. Properties. Double click internet protocol version 4. Enable use the following DNS server addresses and on the preferred DNS server you could type in your Google DNS server on the alternate the same or 4x8 at the top and 2x4 and 2x8 at the, at the bottom. Once you finish click OK and apply. That's it guys, I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And yeah guys I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way I hope you guys have a wonderful day, see you at the next one and bye.